80% of all the transformation in your body that will ever experience is by doing the basics well done. People are always looking for the shortcut. They're always looking for the magic pill. And we don't want to believe that for us to live in good health, what we need to do is the basics well done. We keep on searching for the new diet. We keep on searching for the new workout program. We keep on searching for the new biohacks in the hopes that we'll find the magic pill. So the main point of health and fitness is not what should I do. It's not about information. It's not about learning the techniques because we intuitively know most of them. The main question of health and fitness is a behavioral one. Is why don't I do the things I know I should? And that is not about knowing that, hey, it turns out that eating whole foods is great for me. It's not a surprise, right? It turns out that moving my body, going for a walk, doing a workout is great for me. It's not new. But the main point is, if I know that, why is it that I'm still not able to do? So this is when we need to go into that connection between the mind and the body. When we look on health and fitness improvement, we're only looking at what we bring to our bodies. How we move the body, how do we work only on the body aspect? But the body and the mind are integrated. It's not about only what changes the body, but what allows my mind to implement the things I know I should be doing. Removing the emotional obstacles that allow me to transform the way that I think about myself. You transform your health in a permanent way, not when you find the diet and the supplement that works for you, but when you change your sense of identity, when you realize that now you become the healthy person. You become the person that honors and respects their body. You are now a person that treats your body with reverence. And by that, you change your daily habits. If you treat your body with reverence, then you don't need discipline. We think of discipline as a key component of health and fitness. And when we think of discipline, we think of something that is hard. Even your face has a different facial expression. It's like, I force my, myself to do things that I don't want to do. That's discipline. And, and the base of health and fitness, we believe, is having the attitude of, of discipline. But I don't believe so. If you treat your body with reverence, you don't need discipline. There are seven different pillars that go beyond only exercise and nutrition. And these are the things that we bring in the whole body program. If you want to learn more about the seven lifestyle habits that transform your body in a holistic way, then you can go on the link in the description and learn more about the Holo Body Certification Program. This is a program that will help you implement with depth each one of these pillars, change the approach that you have towards health and fitness, allow you to reach the best version of your body, and also give you the skills and the tools that you need to coach other people. So we can create a movement. You transform your health to the best it can be. You transform your life to the best that it can be. Equipped with the tools and skills to serve your loved ones, to even build a career in helping people achieve their best life and their best health. Join me, the link is in the description, and I see you there.